Linux Mint 17.1 KDE, one of the very fastest KDE desktops I've tested in a very long time. But what about KDEN Live? Oh, will you two please kiss and make up already? All right, this is the very latest by Linux Mint. 17.1 Rebecca the KDE desktop you can get more information here on the Linux Mint blog this was released uh, last month and it says here a long tor term not torium long term support supported until 2019 now some of you may know and I'm not the only one about the issues with Kden live the best way to install Kden live is using the terminal I just copy and paste this command into the terminal, but something still is not quite right. But before we take a look at that, let's take a look at the Linux Mint desktop real quick. This is the default desktop here. I just changed the wallpaper. Now you've seen this before, so I will not do a full review of this. Let me just say if, if you are if you are a beginner or a newbie to Linux, Linux Mint is certainly one of the best Linux distributions for beginners, and KDE might be one of the places to start you have the start button here if you want to call that this is customizable you can right click and change it to more of a windows ish if you will old windows uh, classic menu as you see here for those of you who are used to windows 7 i don't think you'll have problems navigating through this as you see here of course you can right click on the desktop go to uh, folder settings now Linux Mint uh, KDE or any uh, KDE is all about customizations. For example, the wallpaper. You can choose animations, color, globe, an interactive map of the world, a slideshow, pattern and pattern of the day, picture of the day, a virus, haha, <laughs> very funny, and weather, images that reflect the weather outside. But for now, I'll just keep it the way it is. Of course, you can uh, right-click also and add desktops like this or just click the, click the little icon here add widgets and let's do yeah analog clock sounds good for now of course you can move this around and change the size again you've probably seen this before unless you are a beginner I'll just leave that in the middle for now of course a panel here at the bottom again customizable you can add another panel if you so choose to move it to up down sideways upside down okay well maybe not upside down but anyway i think you get the picture can you see that yet <laughs> oh i'll just keep it there for now i know it's slightly big of course the usual shortcuts here the dolphin file browser in my opinion one of the best file browsers on the planet period i won't go through this again you've probably seen this before very easy to navigate through and through that was split view mode by the way okay so let's get into um, KDEN live as I mentioned I choose this command here so I right click copy now keep in mind that the latest is KDEN live the latest version of KDEN live is 0 0.9.10 okay cool so let me just click my terminal here paste it I'm drinking some green tea. They say it's best, one of the best things to prevent catching a cold. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have. Keep in mind that the latest version is 0.9.10. All right, so let's go to multimedia, Kden Live. Now this will not be a tutorial on Kden Live, by the way. I just wanted to show you something. Now I am not missing any shortcuts or icons, and that's good, very good. All right, let's take a look at the version about Kden Live. It's still stuck at 0.9.8. It will not update to the latest version. Now I have to tell you, 
No big deal, at least not for me, because everything is here and it's stable. Now some of the, I think some of the rendering profiles are missing in this. For example, websites, it's blank, but that's okay because normally I use file rendering and just choose, you know, MP4 normally or something else and I'm good to go. But the point is, for whatever reason, Linux Mint, the latest Linux Mint 17.1 and Kden Live, is they're just not dating very well. They've been arguing. They can't seem to communicate very well. They're throwing a hissy fit or whatever you want to call it. It's not working. And at this point, I just don't care. Uh, I use what works either in Linux or Windows. You know, editing videos is a very time consuming process. That's why I don't always use any video editor but when I do take the time to create a as clean as polished a video as possible I expect my editor to be as clean and as polished as possible and right now in Linux Mint at least with the latest version of Kden Live it's just not working however this version is fine even in a virtual machine but that being said if you are a beginner to this I definitely still recommend Linux Mint is one of the best Linux distributions on the planet for any user and as far as Linux Mint itself the latest one it runs very good very very good even inside a virtual environment so definitely check it out all right well that's it for this one thank you so much for watching and listening and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future